ओके सो इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव सीन दैट इफ वी वॉन्टेड टू कैलकुलेट द डबल इंटीग्रेशन इन द पोलर कॉर्डिनेट्स से द पोलर कॉर्डिनेट्स दे आर योर आर एंड थीटा राइट एंड यू यू आर मूविंग फ्रॉम द कार्टीज इन कॉर्डिनेट्स एक्स इन वाई टू दिस पोलर कॉर्डिनेट्स देन इन दैट केस योर इंटीग्रेशन डबल इंटीग्रेशन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द वेरिएबल्स एक्स इन वाई नाउ शिफ्टेड टू दिस डबल इंटीग्रेशन वेयर यू रिप्लेस योर वेरिएबल एक्स बाय द आर कॉस थीटा एंड द वेरिएबल वाई बाय आर साइन थीटा एंड देन डी एक्स डी वाई दिस होल थिंग बाय आर डी आर डी थीटा सो दिस वी सॉ इन द प्रीवियस क्लास एंड आई हैव ऑल्सो गिवन यू वन क्वेश्चन टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन वॉज यू हैव टू इवेलुएट दिस इंटीग्रेशन इंटीग्रेशन वेयर दिस एक्स येस दिस एक्स वेरीज फ्रॉम जीरो टू टू एंड वाई वेरीज फ्रॉम जीरो टू स्क्वायर रूट टू एक्स माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर बाय चेंजिंग दिस टू दी पोलर कॉर्डिनेट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू चेंज दी कॉर्डिनेट सो लेट अस हैव अ लुक एट द सोल्यूशन सो हियर वी नो द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द कार्टीजियन एंड पोलर कॉर्डिनेट द रिलेशनशिप इज एक्स इज इक्वल टू आर कॉस थीटा एंड वाई इज इक्वल टू आर साइन थीटा एंड यू ऑल्सो नो वॉट इज आर आर स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर एंड वॉट इज थीटा थीटा इज इक्वल टू टेन इनवर्स ऑफ वाई बाय एक्स सो दिस यू ऑलरेडी नो दैट हाउ कैन यू शिफ्ट फ्रॉम एक्स टू आर थीटा सो दिस इज फ्रॉम एक्स वाई टू आर थीटा एंड दिस इज फ्रॉम आर थीटा टू एक्स वाई ओके सो नाउ इन दिस केस when we wanted to calculate the double integration your dy dx that is shifted to r dr d theta that you already know and now you have to see by what quantities does your limit change so if you look at your limits what are your limits here the limits are x is equal to 0 x is equal to 2 and then y is equal to 0 and y is equal to square root 2x minus x square so here you see x is equal to 0 first of all we visualize this region what is this region this is our x axis y axis then x is equal to 0 is this line and y is equal to 0 is this line right and x is equal to 2 suppose this is 2 so this is one line and this is x is equal to 2 and this y is equal to square root of 2x minus x square would be x square is equal to 2x minus x square or you can write this to be x square minus 2x plus y square is equal to 0 now this is the equation of circle so how can you compute this in terms of circle ma'am ma'am so for that we can write this equation x square minus 2x plus y square now for the equation of circle what you have to do you have to complete the square of x so that means you have to take half the coefficient of this mixed term that is x that that is equal to minus 1 square it that is equal to plus 1 and then you add plus 1 here and plus 1 on the other side so in this way you have completed this square so it is equal to x minus 1 whole square plus y square is equal to 1 so that means this is a equation of circle having center at the point 1 comma 0 and whose radius is equal to 1 so this information is known to you so now we have to plot this one so it has a uh, center at this point 1 comma 0 and its radius is equal to 1 so this point is 1 this point is minus 1 so your circle would be like this right something like this so uh, in this case you have to perform the integration uh, between the regions bounded by this line this line this line and this line so what is your Uh, integ area of integration it is this particular portion the upper part of this circle so for that we have to see the limits of uh, r and theta 
so clearly it is very easily known that uh, in this shaded region what is the angle here the shaded regions lie, lie between this line and this line so the minimum value of theta here is equal to 0 and the minimum maximum value of theta here is equal to pi by 2 so th this is how you obtain the limits of theta theta varies from 0 to pi by 2 whereas what is the value of r if you look at r the maximum value of r uh, is obtained from here from this equation how because you can write x square plus y square is equal to 2x now you know what is the value of r square r square is equal to x square plus y square so that means you have this quantity as r square and what is the value of x it is equal to r cos theta so 1 r cancels from this one so you have r is equal to 2 cos theta so this is the maximum limit for r so accordingly your integration uh, becomes from here it is equal to theta varies from 0 to pi by 2 and your r varies from 0 to 2 cos theta into uh, what what was given to you in the question you were given this x square root of x square plus y square into dy dx so in place of x you will write r cos theta in place of square root of x square plus y square what will you write you will write r here and instead of dx dy you will write r dr d theta so now this r and this r cancels so you are left with integration theta varying from 0 to pi by 2 integration r varying from 0 to 2 cos theta into r cos theta dr d theta so now you, we can very easily perform this integration. Firstly, we will perform the integration with respect to r. So this is equal to theta varying from 0 to pi by 2 and d theta. And because theta would be considered constant, so cos theta would be as such. And then the integration of r with respect to r, that is r square by 2. And the limits of r, they are from 0 to 2 cos theta. So this is equal to integration theta varying from 0 to pi by 2 cos theta by 2 and then you have 2, uh, two cos theta whole square so that, that is equal to 4 cos square theta minus 0 into d theta. So this quantity this becomes equal to you have cos cube theta into 2, 2 would come outside. So theta varies from 0 to pi by 2 d theta. Now you can use the expression for this uh, triple angle for cos. So that is equal to 4 cos cube x minus 3 cos x. So from here you can calculate the value of cos cube x that is equal to 1 by 4 cos 3x plus 3 cos x. So you can substitute it here and solve it perform the integration and finally you will have the answer as 3 pi by 4. So this is the value of the integration that we were asked to solve.